Hey guys, welcome back to a 90s kid and welcome to an unboxing video. So I hope you're all doing well out there because I'm not feeling that well myself. Uh, got a bit of a cold, had some fever during the night, uh, came home early today from work. Um, just feeling a bit poop, poop the poop. But um, since I got home, not feeling too bad. And I was going to wait a couple of days until I was better to record this video. But intrigue has got the better of me. So basically what this is, this is a 90s mystery unboxing, a bit of a 90s nostalgia box. I went on Etsy, um, I can't remember what I was searching for, um, but this popped up in the results. So I thought, ooh, I haven't done one of these for a while. So I've gone into this completely blind. I didn't really look at any photos of what was included in the box on there. All I know is that it's on the 90s and it was either designs to be for a female or a male so i've still gone for the male and i was expecting the box to be a bit bigger because this is what has turned up so uh, yeah i don't know what is in this uh, it might be a joke saying haha i got you but it does feel hefty so like i say intrigue got the better of me and i decided i can't wait a couple of days to do this video i want to know what's in this box now so Without further ado, got my jays on standby because I am feeling a bit yeah. Right, let's do this. Dun dun dun. This is this cool? So to begin with, <coughs> it's got Turtles, Power Rangers, Saved by the Bell, and Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Now I didn't really watch a lot of Saved by the Bell or. Or Fresh Prince of Bel Air. People are now going, what? But Turtles and Power Rangers was definitely my thing. Oh wow. Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside a minute because for the better. It's gonna be wrapped up. It's got a little star on it. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Alright, this is ooh. Okay, well, I like this to begin with. We've got like a pixel um, mushroom from Mario. I've never seen the blue one. I mean, I may not have, but like I've never had a blue one. So that's cool. That's a nice start there. I like that. Um, we've got some football cards. Tor Andre Flo. Oh, I want these different cards. It's not this football. Let's see if I can get it out. Right then, we got. Oh, that's a cool one. Okay, right, so, getting distracted. This is actually not bad at all. I saw something really cool. Uh, yeah, so we got a football card of this guy, famous for Chelsea. Obviously, I'm not a big into football, so I might give that card away. Um, we've got Star Trek, The Next Generation, When the Bow Breaks. I recognise this guy as well, Wheaton. One of my favourite actors for one of my favourite films, Stand By Me. Do you know what? My dad used to be a massive Star Trek fan, and I would only ever see it like when he was watching it. I've never really sat down and watched it myself, so one day you never know. Right, this one is called Battlefield Earth. Can't even make out what that is. Oh, I, I, I can see now aliens. Hose down. The humans cannot resist as they get blasted with a powerful water hose. The Cyclos enjoy tormenting the human slaves in the human processing centre. As you do. So I don't know how well... Sorry guys, this seems to be a bit of a glare there. So what I'll do at the end, I'll do a close-up of all these so you can see um, see them. And there's a description on the back there saying, Hose down, why does red out? What is Battlefield Earth? I mean, I feel like I've heard of it and I should know what it is. Okay, next up we have some temporary tattoos. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. If I can open the bloody things. Okay, so finally got these open. Um, temporary tattoos. One is of some kind of superhero. Do not recognize that person whatsoever. And the other is of a pirate ship. Nice little silhouette there in the background. Actually, something like that could go well in my bathroom. So I'm looking for some kind of like seaside kind of themed picture. And I was thinking pirates, like a pirate ship, uh, to go on my bathroom wall. Originally, I was just thinking of like um, 
like a uh, lighthouse or something nice like that. And I thought, hang on, Matt, you metropolis, you geek. Let's just do something cool. So far, nifty, I gotta say. All right, I don't know what the hell this guy is, but it's cool. I like that. That's going on the shelf. So you've got some kind of monster on a spring there. Eh? Hey, what happens is that? Never seen that before, not really sure what it is. We have got a badge saying whatever. 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 Here we go. Okay, we've got some pogs. I was hoping for pogs. And we've got, got a pretty cool one. Oh, two cool ones. The first one is Dr. Eggman or Dr. Robotnik from Sonic the Hedgehog. That is awesome. Some more for my collection. That is number 11 in the Sonic the Hedgehog collection. I'm actually quite impressed with this so far. And Star Wars Tazo. Star Wars Tazo. That's from A New Hope. Obviously, because Obi Wan can always be there. Spoilers, sorry, you should have watched it like 50 years ago. Cool. Right then. Got a couple of stars. Not really sure what I'll do with all the stars. Then we've got some stickers by the looks of it. Oh, this is, this is getting good. Um, <laughs> a sticker of a cassette tape. Yeah, some younger viewers might not know what that is. And some kind of sea creature there. If you recognise that, please let me know in the comments below. Oh, cool, there's a music trivia card. Which 90s rapper likes big butts and cannot lie? Mariah Carey's vocal range spans how many octaves? Shake Your Money Maker is the debut album from Rich Band. Name all five members of Take That. For how many weeks did Whitney Houston stay in the UK number one position with I Will Always Love You? Answers below, you might get a prize. You probably won't get a prize with a bit of fun. <clears throat> Although stay tuned for a giveaway. I've got something in mind. <laughs> Uh, we've got a refresher suite. Yeah, I remember that as well. And it's like some maybe Schubert, Schubert or something in that little straw there. Okay, what should we go for next? Oh, oh, it's a hero again. Is it a generic hero? Right, so we've got a little notepad here. Um, the hero at the top there. Was the one I think on, or maybe no, maybe one on the science. I don't know. It was the one of the tattoos? If I put them, yeah, it's the one on the right. I don't know. It's a little notepad there. I've got loads of notepads, right? The people have bought me for Christmas, birthdays over the years. I've bought myself because they look really cool. I hardly use them, but I am thinking of writing again and jotting down notes for YouTube. So I've been doing that. Okay, we've got an album, or a single at least. Oh, an album. Okay, this is cool. LL Cool J, The World. i got to say, I don't know much about this person, but that is cool to have an album. I was not expecting that. Wow, I can't remember the last time I actually bought an album on CD. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Okay, oh, we've got a little fish bait, like a fish eraser. So you rubber fish, can't see that well, but my big finger's not gonna help you, but there you go. It's not gonna focus, I don't think, because so it's focusing on my head instead. Uh, not really sure what this is. Got cars on it. I don't know, does that come off or anything? Answers below, what is that? Oh, it's not one of those, is it? Could not possibly be one of those. No, okay. <gasps> That's cool. Okay, now we've got some stickers and bubblegum. Toxic High School. Do not eat the bubblegum in this pack, it is from 1991. <laughs> so, thank you. Um, the person sent me that to warn me of that. That is great. 
Ah, uh, that's not bad. That's right. Do not eat the gum in this pack. It's from 1991. So these have not been opened since 1991. So of course, we're going to open them. Bloody hell. Yeah, the gum's from 1991. It's actually like... It's stuck to the bottom of the card. That's not cool. Anyway. Science fair losers, at least they tried. Right. Will that peel? Oh, it's breaking off. It might be okay. Yeah. Who dares me to eat it? There you go. Hasn't caused too much damage yet. And we've got one of our principal. He gives us love, he earns our respect. So I'm not really sure at all what this is. Again, I should work close to the end of all these. So we'll move that to the side. That's definitely going in the bin and this will be fumigated. What the hell is this? I haven't got a clue. Oh, it's like a glow stick. It's like two different colours there every now and then in the shade. Again, guys, what is this? Little lid came off it. It does seem to kind of go purple in the, in the shade. Unless that's just the shade of it, I don't know. No idea. Ooh. Let me know in the comments below. Oh, that's cool. Right, next up we've got six super premium trading cards from the X-Files, season three of the X-Files. One of my favorite TV series of all time. So we're gonna open it. Spooky. Okay, that's the first one. Some of these are stuck together as well. I mean, to say there was like six. I've only got four, but they're all stuck together. There you go. One, two, three, four. I've only got five. Is one stuck to this one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes more sense. Not really sure what these are yet. That's Mulder and somebody, somebody looking down into something. Uh, we all know this one. Different aliens. One of Mulder himself. And then Julian Anderson reading a book called From Outer Space. Met Julian Anderson once at New York Comic Con. She wasn't the uh, friendliest person then, but who knows. Maybe we're caught off on, on an off day. And to end, we've got some VR Troopers 5 card puzzle pack. I used to love VR Troopers back in the day. Be gutted there's no Tills or Power Rangers in here. But um, it's still pretty cool what we've had so far. So this is the last. Oh yeah, I can see why this is a puzzle pack. So basically, they're all parts of a larger puzzle. Again, these have been stuck together. Still though, I haven't had anything from VR Troopers in, <coughs> sorry, a long, long time. Um, I had some of the action figures from VR Troopers. You might have seen that actually on my um, toy unboxing uh, a couple of months ago. And I remember buying some of the magazines they had out for VR Troopers in Saundersfoot of all places in uh, West Wales. So guys, that is it. Um, overall, actually, I'm pretty impressed with that. I mean, considering the size of the box, I thought you're not going to get much in there, but that is pretty decent and there's some like nice memories in that. I mean, I love that. I love my Sonic Pogs and Star Wars. Um, I'm not sure I'll be keeping the CD. But yeah, that's pretty cool, I think. Not bad at all. 
and I have then the cards and stuff. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Don't go just yet though, because I will now film all this up close. Okay, so here is everything I had laid out. See, I still don't know what this thing is by here. There you go. So we've got the cards there, the football, the Star Trek, the Battlefield Earth. Toxic, hi. Refresher, sugar looking thing. Whatever the hell that is. Little fish, whatever badge. The mushroom. That guy, stars. The hero notepad. So that guy, same as that person. The music trivia card, so there you go guys, if you want to answer those. Scully, Mulder, Aliens, Mulder and Friend, some guy, X-Files. The LL Cool J All World CD. And the VR Troopers puzzle cards. Boom, see you soon.